Hi, uh, Angelina, Sparkling Diva, and we're going to do another pick a card reading. Um, this is just two cards, chakra cards. I felt very strongly called to use these. And this reading is on um, what well, guidance, advice, uh, when you're in a difficult situation. So when some aspects in your life are not working out, if you don't know what to do, uh, it can also have to do for you with this uh, current lockdown situation. Um, just whatever is, is uh, going on for you that is just not really working out too well. Um, there's four choices. For the first one, uh, it's manifestation crystal. And for the second, there is a, a cute little dolphin. It's Jasper. For the number three is blue calcite. And the number four is amaldine garnet. It's a dark red, but you can't see it unless light hits it properly. Anyhow, make your choice. If need be, pause the video and I'm going to start. Numbers one, your two cards. Um, it's, it's at an angle because otherwise I have an awful lot of glare on the cards. These are shiny cards. The two cards, the first one on the left is the card. And the other one, the second one is, um, <clears throat> sorry, more like a clarifier, an enhancer of sorts, right? Um, the first one uh, for you, your message is pleasure enjoyment beauty sensuality indulgence so your your question is your your message with that as well when is the last time you've actually done something just because it made you feel good are you always just pleasing other people or maybe just busy working doing and never taking time for yourself um some people, I think actually many people, can even feel guilty when they do something for themselves to say time out for themselves. And um, yeah, and, and if that's the case for you, and there's nothing to be ashamed about. Like I said, many people have that, that they feel guilty about doing that. It's, it's something in our upbringing, I think, that um, just tells us that we always have to I don't know, be busy and please other people or something, and we always have to be good. Maybe we never really are taught to also just be, um, well, take time for us. I was about to say selfish, just go figure. It's, I think in our society, it's often automatically considered to be selfish. If you say no to someone uh, because you want to do something for yourself, isn't that ridiculous? But this is what for you it's about. If, and if you do feel guilty about taking time for yourself, about making time for yourself, then please ask yourself why that is so you can work on that and that, that will help you to make it easier for you to regularly take time for yourself. And um, I would advise you to do that as well, to do that regularly. Maybe have a, a, a set a date in your agenda with yourself uh, once a week at least. If Otherwise it, to do it daily is difficult for you so that at least once a week you do that. And then if you have a family, you can even let them know, right? Like, okay, uh, Saturday uh, after lunch is a half an hour for uh, mommy, uh, you know, or an hour, just whatever is possible and necessary for you. Maybe an afternoon, you know, why not? Or a day. So um, that can be very helpful that you have a regular moment uh, where you make time for you. Also when you're alone. So you don't uh, just forget, right? Because it's so easy to just do that and stick to it for a week, two weeks or whatever. And then it, it starts to just like, blah. <laughs> you know, it, it fades away slowly. And then before you know it, you're not taking time for you at all again. And the, the underlying card, the clarifier enhancer, uh, we have a throat chakra. This was the sacral chakra. This is throat chakra. Truth, transparency, sincerity, communication. This is actually what I feel for this reading the most important, that she's looking 
outside of herself to find answers. Maybe that's what, where pleasing comes from as well. <clears throat> not being focused on you, right? Not pleasing you, not focused on you. Looking at the outside and then at some point suddenly realizing that actually she herself holds the key to her own freedom. And um, then also starts expressing what is in her heart. And by doing that, um, you will open a doorway to change things in your life. And the funny thing is that that comes up because when I was drawing the cards, first I only had one and I felt very much with that card um it was also about um and now I completely forgot what I wanted to say is that stupid it just slipped my mind ah there it is I had to pause for a bit so I could just you know feel think and whatever it's about um telling other people what you want what you need that's what I felt with that card. And then later on, I decided to do a second card with each set. And this card is about that as well, actually. <laughs> so isn't that funny? It really is. It just comes together. Um, and when you are honest, when you speak what you need, what you want, what you, you know, just be honest and speak your truth, what's in your heart, you also open um, your own the doorway to your own path to your life purpose because as long as you are not really speaking out speaking up about what you want in your mind as well right um the universe also cannot give you what you actually really want deep down right and so that's what will happen if you start to open up and it might be very scary you might feel very vulnerable but that is also pleasing yourself telling other people what it is you need and what you want and that's perfectly fine you know many people are afraid to do that but it's perfectly fine to do that that's also pleasing yourself so that's what i have for you that is what can help you um and um thank you for watching i hope it's helpful and resonates of course and see you next time right numbers two uh, the first card is the real message the actual message and then i drew a second card uh, as a enhancer or clarifier with it. So your message is personal boundaries, choice, assertiveness, empowerment, authenticity. Um, what I feel very strongly with this is you have to certainly look at your boundaries. Uh, do you have boundaries? Do you know what your boundaries are? If you are uh, asking, inquiring about a certain aspect of your life, focus on that what are your boundaries concerning that aspect that is a problem for you are there do you have boundaries in that situation like for instance we often have quite healthy boundaries uh, but when it comes to love because and i'm going for that because love means so much to us often we let our boundaries slip in love situations so um, look at that. Look at your boundaries. Do you have boundaries? Um, are they strong enough? Uh, do you even know your boundaries? And also, sometimes you need to be flexible. Sometimes, uh, yeah, you need to, to do that. It doesn't mean to say that you drop your boundaries completely, but we do sometimes have to be flexible. In other times, we shouldn't. We have to be strong and stand for who we are and what we believe in. And, and you know, so also feel what is the case for you in this situation that you're inquiring about. Do you have to be flexible or should you stand your ground? Right. And um, do that as well. Right. And that can mean that you have to say no to someone uh, because otherwise you are um, crossing your own boundaries, which is not healthy. And maybe you find that you should be a little bit more flexible. That's also possible. Also make sure that your boundaries are not too strict, that they are actually livable so they don't become like a prison you know they should allow for certain things 
and not like a wall that you can hide behind. That's not the idea of a boundary. And the uh, Enhance or the Clarify card, we have Home. We, this was a Solar Plexus card. This is a Root Chakra card. A home, Shelter, Safety, Nurturing, Warmth. And this is much about, um, it's important for you to have your safe haven. Uh, a place where you can really be you. And um, where no one is in your energy, no one is harassing you, where you can really feel safe. And just like that uh, animal, I'm not entirely certain what it is, you just, just hang, let it hang out and just relax and sleep and chill and just, you know, no one is going to bother you, hurt you or whatever. You, you're safe in that place, your home. And, uh, in, and that will also help you become stronger in this um, area, right? If you do not have this, it's very, very difficult to have that. So this is at uh, underneath it is very important. So make sure you have that place where you really feel you. Look at your home. Um, your home, if it is a haven... It should be, well, actually, it's always a reflection of you. So uh, look around your home. Is there something you should change? Maybe you should paint the walls in a different color that goes with you, that suits you. If you're not allowed to paint your walls because you're renting, well, then get creative. You know, you can put paintings up or drapes of, or whatever. And um, maybe you need more plants in your home or different whatever something. You know, something that makes you feel at home in the place you're living. That's very important because that will help you feel stronger to be you, to stand in your power, to, you know, all that stuff. And it will also help you to be more flexible when need be. If you feel um, insecure, if you don't have a lot of confidence and uh, if you don't have the, the safety, security of a home, it's also very difficult to be a bit flex more flexible if, if, if a situation calls for it. You become rigid when you do not have that inner safety. So that is your message. I hope it's helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Numbers three. Um, well, the, this, this is the message card and then I drew a second card to be the clarifier and uh, enhancer of the message. Um, your message, emotions, feelings, expression, mood, balance. It's pretty clear when you look at that image of that man that um, he's kind of going all over the place, right, with his emotions. Uh, there is no stability, there is no balance, there is mood, mood swings, and uh, that's what this is about. The answer to your question, the message, is that you have to become more balanced in your emotions, more stable. And um, when when you are balanced... You are, everyone, right, is able to feel a full range of emotions. But it's it's not so handy if you keep going all over the place with your emotions over a specific issue. Like maybe one moment you'll feel okay-ish and the next moment you're upset and crying and the next moment you're angry or whatever. It's just really going all over the place. And um, it can help to get more balance in these emotions to acknowledge to find out to how you truly really feel right and um so just sit with that for a bit and just if there is a indeed a problem in your life at the moment something that isn't flowing just sit with that and f and just feel how you actually truly feel about that does it Scare you? Does it make you feel rejected? Does it make you sad? Does it remind you of something from the past? Just whatever. Just, just sit with that, and that can really help, right? To 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 find more balance in these emotions. And then the next thing that you should do is. Take responsibility for your own emotions. Don't blame anyone else or uh, a situation. 
right? You are having these emotions and you can also learn to control them. Taking responsibility is a very good step, right? Uh, and you start that by not blaming someone or something. Many people do that because it's easier. Then it feels like we don't have to deal with it because it's someone else's fault or, you know, it's something. And But that's not helping you in the end. So don't do that. Try to not do that. Um, just also focus, uh, now get clear what it is that you're focusing on when, when it comes to this problem thing and your thought, you know, because emotions, it's, it's not the first thing that comes up. Emotions are the, um, the result of thoughts. So what kind of thoughts are you having? You can actually control your emotions or change your emotions by changing your thoughts. So, and how do you do that? Well, then you have to figure out first, what are you actually thinking? Are your thoughts negative? Are your thoughts full of blame? Are your thoughts, what, what are they? What are you focused on? Because what you're focused on is basically where your thoughts are. And then the result of that is emotions. And also physical, uh, well, stuff that comes with that. Like feeling nervous and your heart rate being up or maybe, you know, whatever. Maybe even having diarrhea because you're so upset. So it can be anything, you know, the physical uh, um, uh, expression of that. So uh, try to do that. Try to get clear what you're focused on. Try to change that. Focus on something else. Sometimes it just helps if there is a problem area in your life to focus on something else entirely. Something that is nice and easy and that is not stagnant. Then the other thing, the problem thing, automatically becomes easier as well. Right? Sometimes uh, when you're really very emotional or upset about something, it's too much to start working with that thing. Then you best focus on something else to calm yourself down, to start feeling better again. And then the other thing all of a sudden flows easier too. <clears throat> Your enhancer, what will help this is grounding. And that's logical in a way, right? If you're really, really well grounded, it's much easier to find balance, inner balance, and to remain stable and to get a different perspective on issues and you will feel calmer. It might help to go into nature because we see nature here, right? He's past tree, his arm and that leg. And uh, so it might help, it often helps people actually to go into nature because nature doesn't judge, doesn't fuss, doesn't get angry, uh, you know, it just does what it does, it just is. And it's always there for you and it's always loving and, you know, it, it's, it just is. And it might be very, very good to do that, to go into nature, whether it's a woods or a park or whatever, or your own garden, and to just sit there and to just be and just hear birds and hear bees humming around you and hear the wind through the trees and so on and so forth. It can be very calming, right? And work on grounding if at all possible. So that's what I have for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Right, number four for you. Uh, the first card is the message, and the second one I drew as a an, uh, either an enhancer or a clarifier for the message card. So your message card is a visualization, imagination, focus, experience, manifestation. This is uh, uh, I get a feeling for you um, that you are dimming your light either in general or in a situation where you're now inquiring about that you're not speaking up that you're not um showing what it is you really want or who you really are actually and th th this is about visualizing because visualization is a very powerful tool uh if if you can visualize it if you can see it in before you in your mind and and then can start to 
uh, act according to that feeling, start talking according to that feeling, walk as if you already have it, live as if you already have it, then your entire world will change. It, it's your thoughts and your feelings will influence your actions. And, and then it can uh, also create a different reality. That's how you actually create your own reality. And it's really very true. You know, uh, let's say, for instance, about love. Uh, if you think about love and if you don't have love or not an, a lot of love in your life at the moment, if you start thinking, visualizing that you have that love exactly the way you want it and then start focusing on how that would make you feel, I can tell you from experience, you will start to move differently. You will start to uh, behave differently. You will start to talk differently. The tone of your voice will, will change. Your body language, the way you move your hands and your facial expression, it will all change. When you feel that feeling of love, of being loved, of being loved, I actually ended up dancing and singing. It's just freaking wonderful. You can do the same thing if, for instance, your inquiry is about money, if you don't have a lot of money, if you have money problems, if you start um, visualizing having a huge lump of money, more than you actually need right now in a situation, right? You're a huge lump of money. How would that make you feel? To not have those worries again and not have to stress about money and maybe not ever having to work again, you know? And just how the hell would that make you feel? Well, how does that make you feel? Just feel it in your body. It comes with a, a tremendous sense of freedom, burdens falling off your shoulders and it's tr it's wonderful and then you will also start to behave differently so your actions will change and then your reality will also change and it works that way with everything so that's what your message is about it's about visualizing what it is that you want and to start uh, really seeing it start to feel it so you start walking, talking, behaving, and etc. as if you already have it, regardless of what it is. It can also be the situation you're in that is difficult, right? Just visualize it being solved, being different, whatever, and it will become easier. And you will feel different in that situation, which makes it easier. And if there's other people involved, then they will react differently to you as well. And uh, then we have the uh, enhance or clarify uh, self-expression. This is certainly, this is the throat chakra. Vocalization, individuality, inner voice, assertiveness, it's self-expression, right? Well, um, that's about in uh, that Mostly in our world, we have been reared to not really speak up how we feel, what we want, um, just not to really express who we truly are. We usually get told off, right? Even even when 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 kids are just you know toddlers that age, two years old or something, and kids usually these young kids then they always speak the truth they just tell what they see out loud in public and the mummy can get in, very humiliated embarrassed by oh my god what did my kids say right <laughs> about for instance a fat lady or something I like like mummy that that lady is really fat right and then if you the mum well, you're going to feel really like, oh, my God. And then you, you you give the kid shit, basically. You tell it off. While all it had done was tell the truth. Right? The kid doesn't know. It's just two years old or maybe three years old. So even at a very young age, we were taught to not express ourselves, to say what we see, feel, whatever. Right? And, okay, sometimes you must shut up. We all know that. We're not toddlers anymore but in essence this is about expressing who you are 
and uh, vocalizing what you want, vocalizing how you feel and what you need, and and but especially I, I think what you feel. I think the essence of uh, the not the essence, the emphasis is on that, how you feel, right? It, it's it's also okay um, to say that you're not feeling great. Because often we, we feel okay about expressing when we feel good and we feel happy and we feel loved. and it, it's, That's not so difficult. It, it's basically about when we do not feel that good. When we, and and that's, that's important. But also if you've been indeed dimming your light, um, don't do that anymore. Just express yourself, your true self, who you are. And um, just do that, you know. You might be surprised at how people react. And um, you have to do it the right way, okay? You you can't blame other people in your uh, vocalizations. <laughs> it has to be about you, how you feel, how you, you know, what you want. And um, by doing that, if you start being you, expressing you, you will reconnect again with source because you're authentic, and yeah, that, that can bring a lot of change. It will bring a lot of change about in your life if you reconnect again with source. So I, I feel for you is actually really what it all comes down to mostly about not dimming your light. Now, this is funny. This looks, I have never seen that before. This in here, it looks like a bird <laughs> with wings spread wide open. And we have a bird here. That's peculiar. I've really never seen that before. Anyhow, that's what I have for you. I do hope it resonates. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.